an abandoned house here folks we're gonna go check that out have a quick look around and uh, we'll get back at you uh, in a couple minutes hang tight well folks check it out I did a video of this abandoned house a few years ago and I'm glad I did because as you can see within the past week or so it has burnt to the ground I'm sure it was a deliberate fire that Jane and I were here in the fall and we were going to go in and do a video you see you'd never seen the place uh, when we uh, went to go in the entrance over here the floor had completely given way so you couldn't get in which is too bad because we probably could have got around in around the back through a window and got some good footage of it but uh, as we can see we won't be getting any more footage from inside that one unless it's like this <laughs> and it's an old house look big old square nails used in the construction real pity it come down but just like all these old places they come down sooner or later there's a basement as well like I say I'm glad I get footage of these old places exploring around inside them and stuff before they come down and I maybe I'll include some of the footage from my previous visit here in this video or else uh, maybe I'll leave a link to it or something but yeah freaking shame I'll look around smell the burnt burnt wood hmm so there's all that's left with it uh, it was a beautiful looking old house I'll tell you what oh well such is life Well, made it inside. Nice porcelain doorknobs. Witch's broom. We look right outside from here. Windows are broke. An old armoire. See much in there. Well, it's been a wood stove here at one time. Another room. There's a wood stove. Speaking of wood stoves. an oldie a lambs up there archway Try to make this video fairly quick. Wanna... There's a cover to uh, something. Might go on that washer. Yeah, I'd say it does, yeah. Ken Moore. area there is all collapsed might be able to get something off that shelf I'm real careful the shelf there <coughs> nothing in the stove Corvette okay 
interesting. Hmm. Newspaper on the walls. Favorite lesson. Plaster. Oh, there's a coin, folks. Sixty. See if I can get it zoomed in here. Oh, great. Almost see it. Well, that's pretty cool. Just go again and get you back up if I find anything else. Hey folks, I want to show you the number of layers of wallpaper on this. We got this green and blue one on the top, and then there's this one here. And then there's this one here. That's a greenish speckled one. And it looks like it's on again underneath it. So that's three, and then there's a sort of checker pattern one, four, I think there's one in behind it as well, yeah, oh, no, right, yeah, four, and that red one, five, and we got a flowered one, six, and we got like a silverish pinkish one, Seven, then a pink flowered one, eight, then another flowered one is nine, nine, and then we're down to the bare plaster. Nine layers of wallpaper in here. That is crazy. People like their wallpaper. Okay, catch you later. Okay, well, let's have a quick look upstairs. Lots of plaster on the stairs here. Oh, some ice, too. I don't know how much I trust this place. There's a rope bottom bed. Look around. Walls caving in. Ceilings caving in. There's some uh, used to be old hornet's nest up there. Chimney. Don't trust that. piece on the front of the house that juts out towards the road. Look at that old headboard and footboard. Looks like bed parts in back there. Another porcelain doorknob. I imagine this place will be tore down sometime in the near future. 
Well, I'm going to uh, see if I can get over to that other room there without falling through. I'll get you back up if I find anything. If not, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.